against this. But here we have a lot of Stargates um, being put down. And another drop over here, but this is not going to do anything. Oh, and nice feedback. Oh, nice. Nice feedback and nice storms as well. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Seems like these forces are going to live. And he is moving the bulk of his army back. And the mothership also making uh, its way back towards, uh, towards this base. And QXD does decide to move away. Now let's see, uh, Mothership is looking grand as usual, a lot of shields, uh, a lot of HP, it is. it does have a lot of um, hit points this uh, this unit, 700 in total, so that's not, uh, that's not so crappy, but um, <laughs> it's not really the greatest unit now, is it? But it's okay, um, damage is not that great either, here we go, and the recall is being used, this planetary fortress is gonna, down, gonna go down real fast, let's see if he does decide to go for the others, and there's like so many command centers over here, um, QXC needs to funnel his forces in here and to, to take care of this, uh, to take care of this army, and whoa, gotta be careful with his ghost, he's sending his ghost in first, now this is a, he's just sacrificing them to pull off those, uh, those EMPs, which is a good thing, all the, all these High Templar don't really have any energy, as you can see, so no storms being used at all, and all these units also have lost their, there we go, one storm only, but all those units have lost their shields and, uh, energy, so, great play over there from QX, even though he did lose, lose his ghost, he ensured that, uh, he, uh, he made sure that he's gonna take down this, um, force over here, and, um, <clears throat> the mothership did go down as well, so, um, let's take a look at the army size right now, both players dropping considerably considerably in supply, so, but QXZ has <laughs> 12,000 minerals <laughs> and 6,000 gas, this is a pretty uh, screwed up game, I, I don't think I've cast anything like this ever, it, it's, the, it's the StarCraft 2, because, uh, they just have so much money and the macro is insane seems like everything is kind of getting mined out and um, what happened here with this oh he's just making his he was only mealing that so far he didn't even bother to get anything there and here we have a pretty big drop and we have a lot of carriers actually and another mothership mothership over here oh but this drop is pretty big and some carriers are coming out right now but he doesn't have his main army over here Mini needs to Mini needs to bring his army to deal with this uh, with this push and um, not a lot of interceptors for now, and uh, they're really uh, those interceptors are dying, are getting picked off uh, fairly quickly. But a nice storm over here, and more carriers are coming out, so it seems like uh, Mini is going to be able to deal with this. Uh, also, all the anti air is pretty much gone, so these Marauders are goners. Also, he's been up upgrading um, uh, air weapons. Uh, level three is almost done as well, so. Um, but this, this Nexus got sniped and it was making a mothership and seems like he's getting a mothership elsewhere <laughs> over here. So QXC also making a drop in the main right now. Taking down uh, the Cyber Nexus core finally after such a long time and he's going to work on these robo facilities. Gotta be, gotta be real careful. He's stimming and there we go doing a lot of damage. Um, robo facilities are gonna go down. And uh, oh, what is he doing with these marines? He shouldn't really do this. Um, Colossus is very badass against Marines, so this this um, robotics facility ended up staying alive. Uh, some focus fire, he could have taken this down as well. But this is like three carriers with more on the way, uh, three more carriers on the way, and another mothership. So, and uh, these silos are getting uh, rearmed as well. So, oh, and this is a lot of Vikings, sixteen Vikings. Uh, this game is really hard to follow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. It's also pretty late, and um, there is these. Um, and drops happening all over the place, nukes and uh, all sorts of stuff uh, that you don't really get to see in most games. So yeah, I have to look all over the place. This is quite exhausting. And um, how many high templar does he have in total? Seven, only seven high templar. Seems like he's um, um, switching tech to mostly air and carries and stuff. But the thing is, there's lots of Vikings out. Here we go. So with that many Vikings, I don't know how effective these carriers will be. Um, also, the EMP is a is a pretty big problem for carriers since they do have 150 shields. And QXC is making a push into the natural. He is most likely going to take down uh, this stuff over here, but uh, he has to move his army a bit further up in front so he can get more shots off. And cloaking the ghosts. Uh, gotta be careful with his ghosts, though. Doesn't want to lose 
Oh, 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 and storms and the ghosts get kind of slaughtered. That wasn't too smart. Mothership is also here cloaking the rest of the units. And uh, the Archon is doing uh, good splash damage over here. Staying alive for the most part. And um, three more Archons. Uh, so all those high temp are getting recycled into Archons. And look at these Archons pulling off the splash damage, doing so much damage while the carriers are supporting the, the ground troops so well. Um, carries a great unit, but uh, you don't really get to see it in like any games. And uh, this force getting cleaned up by uh, by Mini, and uh, Mini surprisingly has done a great game so far, and has held off every uh, attempt uh, the QXC um, made at sniping off bases or anything like that. Great reaction time and uh, uh, quality response from uh, from Mini, and now there's. Uh, Terran's ship blading level one he has oh he already has three three upgrades on those Vikings. Obviously he wants to have as many Vikings as possible. When you see this many carriers, you need the Vikings. So here we go. Vikings are ready to engage, but still this is a lot of carriers and a lot of Phoenix have made their way into the uh, into the game. So it's actually eleven Phoenix and eight carriers and a mothership. Now that's really something uncomfortable to fight against. And um, <laughs> you out yet I think he's talking about money. Uh, QXC is still way ahead uh, of Mini and Money. Mini needs to um, saturate this this um, this base better. So uh, let's see, uh, because this base isn't mined out, and uh, still some minerals at these uh, bases left. While QXC has pretty much mined out his uh, bases, except just uh, a little bit up there at that island expansion. And uh, QXC is. Um, Using a lot of scans, trying to see uh, a good position to engage these forces. Probably gonna try EMPing this. There we go. Oh, and that was a nice EMP. Um, gotta be careful with the Phoenixes, though. The it's, it's the, the interceptor. He doesn't. He can't really focus fire the Phoenix. There we go. He's uh, target firing the Phoenix. Oh, but he's losing all his MMM over there into that corner to the carriers and the mothership. Uh, wow, and that's really brutal. And QX is looking really bad right now, actually. Uh, if I take a look at the army count, uh, he's way under supply under Mini. He's uh, at 108 supply compared to 192 for Mini. So Mini almost maxed out. Also, Mini has a lot of forces that is really uncomfortable to fight against. Um, I don't really know how uh, how you can uh, how you can fight against this. Uh, my 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 personal pick would be uh, obviously in this case it's kind of hard to pull off for QXC, but. Uh, Battlecruisers and uh, Yamato gun is um, really what you want to do with these carriers and then use your Vikings So EMP plus Yamato gun equals dead carriers, but um Yeah, it's pretty hard to pull off. He doesn't have the tech for it. He doesn't have the starports with the uh, with the uh, tech labs He only has um, he only has these reactors So um, let's see what QXC is gonna be able to do against all this He does have these fortresses over here guarding these two entrances, these two pathways, but the thing is they don't attack air and uh, there's not much you can actually uh, do with those fortresses against <laughs> against this army phoenixes, uh, I mean phoenix and um, uh, carriers and a mothership, so here we go, seems like um, Mini is gonna decide to move out on this side and the vikings are making their way you're just moving around. Uh, QXC wants to be ready for any incoming push. He's making, he's throwing down um, scans all over the place. Um, let's just see what happens. I'm really curious to see how Mini is going to handle this. He's maybe going to go for that uh, for that planetary fortress right now. Not exactly sure. Let's see. And the mothership is also here. Some EMP is being uh, being laid down. <coughs> And is he? He should just—he can snipe this quite fast, I do believe. Although it does have the, the the building armor, so it has five armor. There we go, five armor. So, uh, yeah, but it does go down pretty fast. And yep, the planetary fortress does fall. Um, this is a really scary army. No matter what you say about motherships and carriers, this is something you really don't want to be up against. This is a lot of carriers. For what? How? What is this? Uh, 13 carriers. This is a lot of stuff. So, um, he does have a lot of Vikings. I mean, he has 35 Vikings, but he has to be very careful with how he uses them. And he's losing ghosts, being reckless, and there, there is a, an observer here, obviously, and um, 
I don't even know where that observer is somewhere in the cluster of units. This is really mm, looking confusing. And uh, he has to be able to use his Vikings. As best he can, he should abuse the range. He can do this. He can abuse the range. Oh, and Mothership is lagging behind. Oh, and one volley from the Vikings taking down the... Uh, taking down the Mothership. But uh, I don't think it matters that much. This is still so many carriers. And... Um, I don't know how he's going to be able to fare against this. It's all going to come down to EMP usage and focus fire with his uh, with his uh, Vikings. But the thing is, there are also so many High Templar. This is nine High Templar, and they're all going to be able to storm. So if he needs to to get real good EMPs off over here, and um, he is scanning, he's going to try. Is he going to try EMPing with this ghost? Um, come on, EMP over there. We go EMPing, getting three of those High Templar, and. Uh, Yep. Oh, 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 gotta be careful. Um, those Phoenix are also doing uh, uh, some damage onto those Vikings. And, oh, the, the, the ghosts are getting slaughtered. And if he storms here, it's just gonna be really bad. No, no storms yet. But there we go. One storm, uh, two storms. But there's just so many carriers. I mean, he tried to focus fire. He, t he did take down a lot of carriers. I mean, um, it was like 13 or what was it? And now it's like, uh, he killed like five carriers, but that's all you could do. And there we go, we have the GG. Uh, wow, really, really crazy game. This is, uh, what's up with QXC? He, he only seems to be giving us these insanely cool macro games, long and, I mean, um, with the uh, all sorts of units and uh, strategies and stuff like that. Um, so, gotta give it up to QXC for giving us uh, great, great games. Thanks, QXC. Uh, looking forward to cast more of your games if you pull this stuff off some more. So, um, anyway, what to say about this game? Um, it seems like a show match to me. I'm, I'm not sure what this, where this match is from. I just got my hands on the replay. I don't know where it's from, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty creepy. Because both players just went into full macro mode. It's like they were agreeing not to attack each other, so I'm not exactly sure. Although, uh, QXC did pull off that um, that attack at the start. And tried to make a timing push with the stim and the combat shield and all that jazz. And the force field stopped in right there. But uh, after that, uh, it just drops all over the place. But <laughs> uh, Really enjoyable game. Really nice to watch. So much money for both players. I mean... Uh, you, can, you can see how much extra money QXC had, but in the end, Mini won the game because... Um, he had such um, he had such clever usage of um, of his tech tree, and he teched to something um, that uh, could win him the game. And uh, as many Vikings as QXC had, he couldn't really do anything about uh, all this stuff. I mean, Archons and um, High Templar and the Carriers and the Mothership and so forth, and all those Phoenix as well. So um, really great game and. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed watching this because I had fun casting it. It was like really, really great. Um, this is this is like insane, and I'm sure I've missed some stuff in this game. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't obviously can't say that I haven't, but uh, try to cover it as best I can. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't, please do subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more videos.